It is, what just happened here? You there? Let's see if anybody comes on. Hello, happy Thursday. It has been a day already. It's stupid. Excuse me? Is that an appropriate thing to say ever? Hmm? No. Please finish your chores. <sighs> so I'm late because I was taking a nap and um, I fell asleep and didn't wake up. <laughs> oh, so now I'm working on dinner and oh hey Kimberly. So I uh, we went shopping on Tuesday because so we had um, our homeschool con convention Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I prepped and I got all the all the foods for then and I got extra stuff for our um, our field trip on Tuesday and. I did all the things. I'm cutting some potatoes down here. Um, I did all the things. And, but then on Wednesday, we usually go shopping. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do that. So we went on Tuesday grocery shopping. Hey, Judy. And uh, we, go, we shop at Aldi because that's the least expensive. Hey, Natasha. Least expensive place uh, for us to get um, our, you know, good quality organic and gluten-free stuff. So, um, anyway, we go on Tuesday, but they restock everything on Wednesdays. So, they didn't have all of the chicken that we needed. So, I didn't get to get my chicken. And y'all know what Thursdays are. What's Thursday? What do we eat for Thursday on dinner? What do we eat for Thursdays, guys? Crispy chicken? Crispy chicken and potatoes. So instead I don't have I don't have chicken. So I was like, okay, now we're gonna have to go in the cabinet and find out what can we have for dinner. So what I found was I had a can of baked beans. And I was like, alright, so I got a can of baked beans. I bought potatoes because that was going to be with our chicken tonight, but I don't have any chicken, so I went uh, to the freezer and I was looking what kind of meat is in the freezer, and I got some um, beef, beef dogs, beef dogs, some hot dogs. Um, they're 100% beef. They are delicious, and uh, I was like, okay, so we're going down that road. Well, I've got these potatoes, so hey, Crystal, so I'm going to make. Uh, potato salad and uh, we have eggs because that's that so we're making an Amish potato salad that has a little bit of egg in it and mayonnaise and mustard and vinegar it has sugar but I'm not putting sugar in it hey Shaney hey Lisa welcome guys so that is what we're doing so I have the um, hard-boiled eggs here got the potatoes there and so we are just we're making stuff so I have um, some extra celery from our our trips yeah it's fine I got some extra celery from our trips because we needed a stock for this um, this recipe so hey Tanya so anyway it's uh you know it's it's make make dinner with what you got in the pantry night and what we got is some hot dogs making some potato salad got some baked beans and um i think there's some potato chips over there so you know what it's not the healthiest meal but it's something when you don't have chicken that was supposed to be your meal so that's what we're working with and i think it's going to be delicious and great so give me some ideas when you are are out of of groceries what do you oh, dancing what do you do? What do you do when you're out of groceries? I, um, I'm really good. My mom helped me to be a very good, uh, cook. yeah, a, a good cook when it comes to like, hey, what ingredients do you have? What ingredients do you not have? Hey, Tammy. Um, 
to be able to make things on, you know, a limited, a limited amount of food. Um, I could have chosen to do a chili tonight. I could have chosen to do that. It would have been an all bean chili, although I do have one very large chicken breast. So I could have done that um, in a chili, made like a, a taco chili. But um, we already did tacos uh, this, this week, and I thought, um, I don't want to do that. We make breakfast. Oh, yes, yes. We usually do that. The only reason I didn't do that today was because Mommy. we save our breakfast Mom. days for Saturday, and that's like Mom, a really special. Mom. Yes, ma'am. My sweet girl just brought me some flowers. Um, thank you. So, um, yeah, Friday or Saturday mornings are our special breakfast. I wake up and I make breakfast uh, pancakes and uh, actually it's either pancakes or biscuits and eggs and bacon and sausage for everybody and it's delicious. But that's usually what we do on Saturdays and I know that the kids really enjoy that so uh, I didn't want to to ruin that tradition or chili yes chili is um, it's a super easy thing I always have the ingredients for that hey early um, we did the, that the other night I made ooh yes breakfast burritos fast and easy yes you know what? I do have ro uh, roll-ups which normally I don't have tortillas because um, they're just, they're kind of a, an extra extravagance for us because we are gluten free. And so I just um, am very uh, um, what's particular on what we, uh, what extra. Oh, thank you so much. That's beautiful. I'm getting flowers from everywhere. I want you thank to you. Travel. Hey, Carter, um, you're supposed to be in here helping your sister. I want you to travel. Um, <laughs> with the carbs and the extra stuff because gluten-free um, like wraps and roll-ups and, and uh, hey Ann, and bread is expensive and so I just tried not to um, to spend a lot so I usually will buy one loaf of bread and they know that they can have if they're gonna have bread in a day they can have one piece because that's really all you need and um, yeah, so they can have one piece of bread in a day, and that's all they get <clears throat> if they have it. But um, I do, I did get some because I was gonna make um, turkey turkey roll ups with uh, I do cucumber and bell pepper and lettuce. Um, I can't have I can't have the cheese, and so hey Stephanie, um, I can't have the cheese. So of course I don't put cheese on it, but that's what that's what I do. Um, let's see, it was up here. Yes, they are expensive. Um, so our grocery budget for a family of six, oh wait, our grocery budget for a family of six is uh, $150 a week. So I uh, spend $150 a week and um, that's, I mean, that's what I get. I get, I get cash um, every Wednesday. My husband gives me, or, or not my husband, I go to the bank and get cash um, for the groceries and that's everything. And, but the thing with that is that it, um, it is easier now because I have a set, um, daily food thing, if that's a, um, a thing. So every, each week is, is pretty much the same food. Thank you. Okay. No more, please. No more. That, that is very, very sweet. But no more, because I'm trying to cook, and y'all are, yeah. Okay, can we finish the dishes, please? Yes, Thank you. Um, so, like, on Mondays is our Mo Chicken Monday, so usually it's like a, uh, I make a pan-fried chicken, um, and then it goes in the oven, and it's super easy with potatoes and, and vegetables. Um, Tuesdays is Taco Tuesday, so I'll either do, like, a chicken tacos, uh, chicken taco soup, or um, chicken, chicken uh, taco chili, or actual tacos with ground beef. Um, so that's what Tuesdays are. Wednesdays we go to church and we eat dinner there. And then Thursdays are uh, crispy chicken. We always have crispy chicken on Thursdays. And then Fridays are pizza days. Saturday we do um, leftovers, if there's any leftovers from the week, and we do sandwiches, and of course we have a big breakfast uh, in the morning, so that usually takes up a lot of the time. And um, uh, and then Sundays we have a uh, small group. We have 
dinner with our small group and um we so uh, sometimes we will you know everybody brings a little something and uh, sometimes we do it where i make all the things and then they reimburse and that's what we've been doing for the last three weeks and so um even with my grocery grocery budget being 150 i've been able to buy dinner uh items for dinner for 20 people um as well and so that's that's been wonderful um a couple times i've gone over and so i've had to readjust how much um they give us uh, like how much they reimburse for each meal um but I, it's worked out really well because with all of our allergies i'm able to just do it really really easily all right crystal you said um you always have eggs and always have pancake mix. Yes, I, we always have that. Yes, Brenner, it, it, I love it. It's amazing. Hey, Alex. Um, Stephanie, yes, you got to make it work. You're right. Cucumber, turkey, and cream cheese and mayo. Oh, yes. that. I, I do miss cream cheese. Cream cheese was, like, so good, and I loved adding it to stuff. Um, what am I making for 20? Uh, okay, so two weeks ago, I made um, uh, little chicken foil packets, like... Um, uh, Old Bay seasoning. So usually you put shrimp in it, but that's too expensive to feed 20. So um, I did chicken and andouille sausage, corn, potatoes, and mushrooms in the packet. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your door needs to be closed and locked right now. And uh, then some uh, Louisiana rice on the side. I think it was like a jumbo. It wasn't a dirty rice. It was dirty rice on the side. And... Um, and that fed 20. It was so good. And then I made, last week, I made um, foil packets. Yeah, foil packets are amazing. Last week I made, hey, um, what did I make? Oh, sweet and sour chicken. Okay, they see you, baby. Sweet and sour chicken uh, and rice. And I made egg drop soup. And then this week I'm making meatloaf and mashed potatoes and mixed veggies. So that'll be for this week. Um, and all of that is dairy free, all of that is gluten free, and all of it is freaking delicious. You can ask anyone in that group, they were all, were all uh, saying how good it was. And so and I have to give props to my mother-in-law because she's the one that gave me the, um, the recipe for the old day packets and the, um, hey Jacqueline, and the uh, the sweet and sour chicken, so good. Yes, thank you. All right. Um, hey buddy, can you come over here and just finish these dishes please so I can like have room to do stuff? Yeah. So we have waterless, greaseless pans and, um, So how the uh, eggs are cooked is you get um, paper towels sopping wet and you put it in the bottom of the pan and then you cook it on high until it whistles and then you turn it down for 15 minutes and then you've got perfect hard boiled eggs. And so that's what, uh, that's what I just did there. See I've got, how long have we been on this call? These are not quite done. Uh -huh. Almost. Um, okay, so here's a poll. Do you guys like warm potato salad when it's fresh out, or do you like it when it's super cold, fresh out of the fridge? There's a poll for you. Hey, Benita. And what is your favorite type of, uh, of potato salad? We had someone brought smoked bologna uh, one day at our small group, and... Um, one of the one of the ladies was saying, you know, what kind of potato salad, and she was naming all these different ones, and I was like, wow, I didn't even realize there was that many. But I did realize, that I, actually, I didn't know what the name of this was, the Amish potato salad, but it's one of my favorites. Um, this and uh, there's one from Publix. It's red red potato salad. Anyway, it's, it's red potatoes, but it also has something else in it, and it just tastes so good. So good. So, anyway, I just came on here to pop on and say I encourage you to um, go through your pantries and find, you know, what, what you have that you can make dinner with and surprise yourself. 
Um, that I've, I have so many spices that you know I can use to spice things up. But just going through my pantry just like that, I came up with dinner. Now, like I said, it's not the most nutritious dinner, but it's a really fun dinner and something that the kids um, are going to enjoy and like. Hey, Judy. So that's all I have for you. Thank you for coming on here and talking to me. I love talking with you guys, especially on um, Thursdays when I'm cooking because that's just fun. And um, it's crazy. It's changing the color of my, um, I don't know if y'all can see this. Probably not. Anyway, this is a different color than this. It's like a light and the, the hot water, the hot water uh, like boiling up just did that. It's crazy. Anyway, I hope to see you all on Sunday at 3 p.m. Also, if there is anyone local um, in Murfreesboro that wants to come see the movie Unplanned, I am going tonight at 7.45 to see that. Message me if you're interested um, and you want to go with someone. I'd love to have you join me. Anyway. I'll catch you on Sunday at 3 p.m. I love you. Bye.